Velocity Telephone, and uh, those of you who know, there is somebody else other than Comcast in question. You guys can buy phone service. <laughs> really? So, huh? really? I didn't know that. Um, and we are that local phone company. This is just a, kind of a little history about us. Um, we're owned by a couple owners, privately held company here in Minnesota, so we're a Minnesota-based company. Um, Velocity Telephone and U.S. Family Net are our two big brand names that we have out there. U.S. Family Net's a dial-up company. Started way back when dial-up internet was still cool, and we still sell new dial-up customers today, go figure. Um, <laughs> we do. Um, Velocity, whoop, didn't want to do that. Velocity basically is uh, the, the telephone part of our business, and we started last year a fiber construction company, and I'm going to talk to you a lot about fiber, but um, that's another whole subject we can go into and why fiber really is the future of where things are going and, and what people can do. Uh, being locally Minnesota-based, we got Golden Valley as our headquarters. If you call somebody, our tech support is it Golden Valley. It's not in Pakistan. It's not in India. And I can tell you, all the rest of the telephone companies, that's where their support is. And my techs love to get a hold of a Tier 1 tech support person and all of a sudden go, hmm, why did you want to do this? It's, uh, you deal with the Minnesota, and they really know how to do things with you. We also are a development company, which makes us a little unique. In other words, we write codes and write products. And that's the thing I'm going to talk to you about today is one of our products, which is the virtual office. And you want to think of phone company, you know, you need phone service to run your business. You've got your office space, you've got your financing, you're going to get your office furniture. you still got to be connected to the rest of the world, and how can you go about doing that? And we've got the ability to do that with a very unique product. There's some brochures out front here that will kind of tell you some things to look for. And I'm going to talk in generalities about things that you should look for, not necessarily about our product. If you want to talk about that, we can do that later. I've got some inf information on that. We're also a little unique is that we do do residential service. So if you're starting your business out of your home, I can start your home office there, and then we can move it to an office space very easily. All you need is an Internet connection to do some of these things. You can move it to Starbucks, you can move it to Starbucks if, you, if you want to. So hosted voice over IP, sometimes it has a bad name, but that's really what we're talking about today in the virtual office. And there's kind of a checklist that you want to go through here. You know, if you don't have staff to do things, do you have, you know, where are you going to get this from? Who should be, should it be a premise-based system? Do you know what a premise-based system is? That's the phone that actually physically sits on your desk, or maybe in a small office you've got something in the back room that hangs on the wall. Um, basically, those kind of things, those, that's the old way of doing things. A hosted product gives you the ability to move and be anywhere. I've literally hooked together a person with 200 phones in seven different offices. They have one management system, one person managing all those phones across everything that they're doing very quickly, very easily. I also just talked to a woman on Wednesday. She's working out of her home in North Oak. She's a lawyer. When she called me, I could barely understand her. She was on her cell phone, running her business from her cell phone. You know what? I get cell phones. I carry one. But I was like, do you really want that impression to be of the people who, who are going to use you as a lawyer? You know, do they really want you to have that ability to really go, uh, you know, is this person a real person or not? The way your business appears and how you talk to people is really important. And we can make you sound like a huge corporation with just one person. It's really easy to do. Um, you also want to do networking stuff. The Internet is becoming more and more and more important. And you don't need phone lines and Internet service. With a hosted system, you just need a great Internet connection. You can get that from anybody and run the system on, too. We've run our system on Quest DSL lines, our DSL lines, T1 services, which are a little bit bigger. We've run them on Comcast Broadband Line, Charter, Frontier, any of those type of companies we can run these kind of services on. Um, basically, you want to make sure that you're connected to 911. It's a very critical point. There's a lot of companies selling things that, like I'm selling on a hosted platform, but they don't care about 911. If you call 911 and they show up in New Jersey because that's where their phone systems is headquartered out of, that's not going to do you any good. So as a telephone company, and we are a true telephone company, we get that part of the business. And those are the really important things to kind of think about. What happens if the power goes down? These are power generated phones, so you've got to think about those kind of things. What's your budget in a VoIP deployment? For $35 a month, I can have you have a fully hosted voice over IP system with unified messaging, inbound, outbound, fax to the desktop. And you're in business and look like a very professional business. Um, and what kind of hardware and things do I need? 
basically some myths that are kind of going on out there. If you buy a voice over IP system, I don't have long distance. That's the biggest myth that's out there right now. Now you can avoid some long distance by calling, uh, excuse me, by calling um, IP phone to IP phone. That's a great way to do some things. But your, your long distance just doesn't disappear. Vonage has kind of made that thing kind of look like, okay, everybody thinks it's free. They're still paying for it. You're still paying for it on the, on the underneath side. What they're betting on is that you're not going to use any long distance and he's going to use a lot. And on average, you're going to average yourselves out. So they're doing it on a numbers game. So we want to make sure that they do that. I think this thing is flipping on its own now. Um, IP to IP, let's say, a flat monthly rate is always better than a per minute rate. Some people think if I get unlimited long distance, how many of you have seen the unlimited long distance plans that Quest's offering right now? I can tell you, by fact, I have never seen anyone use all of their minutes in any one of the plans. <coughs> and I've been doing this for over 14, 15 years now. So I've never seen anybody use all the minutes. You guys usually pay for more minutes than you use. That's what they're banking on. We came up with a very simple plan. Pay for what you use. We'll have a low rate. Pay for what you use. That's what's critical to what you're doing. Because your usage is going to change, even by month. <coughs> You'll see some different things. So, I mean, a lot of people go, when's the last time you used up all your wireless minutes? I have 7,500 minutes. I guarantee I probably use 500 a month. You know, so you're just not using all the minutes that you've got in what you're doing here. Um, here's some things to consider. <clears throat> not all hosted providers are the same. A lot of people do a great job of marketing different things. You'll see their, uh, you'll see their ads all over the place. 8 by 8s out there. Uh, Vonage is out there. Vocalocity is out there. A lot of these people aren't telephone companies, so they don't understand all the other little pieces that you have to kind of put into there. So you want to make sure that you're not buying any hype, you're not buying anything or production. You want to make sure you got you have somebody working with you on your team who understands voice and voice applications. That's really critical to what people are doing. You want to find a company that's an extension of yours. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are too big to really work with you. Working with a small company is really nice. You can call us up and we'll come out and help you do different things very quickly, very easily. Um, and I always tell people, if I'm not the fairest, easiest company to deal with, I want to know about it because I, we sure make ourselves available to just about anything that we're doing. You also want to make sure that um, the expectations of your um, what you're needed are set up front. You want to make sure that you know, understand what you need and be able to talk um, to various customers. Okay, I want to be able to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have a gentleman who runs a tech support company and he... Uh, he has one phone in his office, he's got his cell phone, he's got a phone in his cabin up north. But he has to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter where he's at. So he will literally utilize this phone system to basically be available to all his customers anytime he wants to be available. So you want to make sure that you have those kind of things and you're listening to those type of things. Um, a hosted provider should be able to do a number of different things for you. Provide faxing, emailing, web hosting, all of those things can be a part of your bundles. One interesting thing that I learned about from a photo person is you guys have to do backups of all, your, all of your pictures. And we have a data backup service that you can host it off-site, drop load everything into there. It's protected, it's safe, it's there all the time for everybody that you want to do. So we've developed products and services like that. We're not just a one-trick pony, as we say, to be able to do all the different things that people might want. Um, the other thing is what happens if somebody goes away, if somebody fails, the 50% of the businesses that do fail in this, in this world. And there are a lot of telephone companies and there's a lot of Internet companies that have gone by the wayside. We have kind of weathered that storm since 1997, being a, a dial-up Internet service provider. So being able to kind of continue those kind of things and grow our business. We are a very conservative company. I wish I had that lovely crystal ball that says we're going to be the next thing that's going to be sold to Microsoft for $8.4 billion or something like that, like Skype. And who knows, that may be the case with what we're doing. But, you know, it is something that you do have to watch. Generally, you want a nice regulated company. Being a telecom company, we are regulated very heavily by the state Public Utilities Commission. So you've got some security in there versus somebody who's just selling a hosted phone system because they can sell telephone systems. There's a lot of those out there. Um, sales support should be similar to the uh, should be, sales support should be similar to what the manufacturer of the premise-based systems are. You should be able to do some of the old things. We kind of have a rule as far as what we want to do. We want to make not just um, 